Hello everybody. I hope you all are having a wonderful start to your new year. And for those of you who join me mostly on my channel for Thanksgiving and Christmas Cactus Care, Happy New Year to all of you. Here is my big red and he needs a little bit of grooming right now because he's coming out of his first bloom. He always blooms for me in November and December. Then there's a little bit of bud blast that occurs about this time of the year. And then new buds usually form at the end of this month. And then he usually blooms for me February and March. We've had some very interesting weather this year. So I'm hoping that that's going to hold true. Last week about this time, it was 75 degrees and we have snow on the ground today and it's 18 degrees. So that does cause some bud blast. No matter if you don't move them, it's just the sudden change in the temperatures and not being able to stabilize those temperatures enough even in your home this time of the year. I've been asked by several of you if I could go through a watering and fertilizing schedule for the entire year. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I also have several viewers, several of my friends who are visually impaired and they have asked me to do it on index cards in big letters so they can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to flood the screen with the index cards so that you all can see them as well. I figured that this month, the month of January was a really good month to start as far as care throughout the whole year. So I'm going to re be referring back to this video quite often throughout the year, but this is going to give you a capsule of how you're going to care for your Christmas or your Thanksgiving cactus throughout the whole year. Okay, so for January and February, you're going to water once a week lightly, which means you water just until it drains through the holes of the pot. And this month, there's no need to fertilize and don't repot yet. A lot of people have asked me, do you repot in the month of January? The answer is no. Your Christmas or Thanksgiving cactus has the ability to form more buds and bloom at Easter if cared for properly and given the right conditions. And if you repot right now, it will shock the plant and that won't happen. So you're going to wait until spring to repot. Then comes March, April, and May, springtime. And this is the time you're going to repot your Christmas or your Thanksgiving cactus. The new growth appears. You're going to start watering twice a week. And I use my orchid fertilizer, which is a weekly fertilizer. Um, I just use the runoff water from my orchid fertilizer once a week. Now, if you're using a regular plant fertilizer, you can dilute it to about one quarter strength. Then June through August, summertime, you're going to have lots of active growth. That's the time when your plant's going to grow the most and your segments are going to ma mature at that time. So you're going to keep up the watering and the fertilizing schedule that you had from March through May. Then as autumn approaches in September, the shorter days and the decrease in the temperatures triggers the flowering. So you're going to keep watering, but you're going to notice that they don't require quite as much water as they did in the summer months. Then in October, I always have to put this on my calendar or I'll forget it. I stop watering and then the buds appear. And then all of you start letting me know, oh my goodness, my buds are appearing on my holiday cacti and it's a very exciting time. Then in November and December, you're going to resume a light 
watering schedule about once a week with no fertilizer. And of course, November and December are when these beautiful plants bloom and you are rewarded for the fruits of all of your labor throughout the whole year and you get rewarded for taking such good care of these plants. Big Red and I want to thank you for joining us today. And before I let you all go, I would love to say the blessing over you, your families, and your plants. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you and your families his shalom peace. You all make it a great day and we'll see you next time.